yeah, I mean, he's a monster on our show. Uh, the most underrated guy who I who should be selling out theaters is Theo Vaughn. Well, we were, you were talking about that before. Theo's got a – he hit a stride, like, within the last year. He hit a stride where he just, like – sometimes you'll see dudes. They, they're doing really well, and then for whatever reason, they figure something out, and they take it to the next they level. They break through. And that's where Theo is right now. He's just – He's a mom, and he's a unique guy. Like his comedy is so unique. Like you wouldn't work with anybody. You else. won't see it anywhere else. No. That's us telling. My, sometimes <laughs> I'll watch other comedians, and I'll go, "Oh, I can see how they came up with that idea." Right. When I watch Theo, I'm like, "What the fuck? What the fuck? Where are you smoking? Yeah, where are you coming up? With where that? were you raised? <laughs> <laughs> how's how's that your view of the world? Uh, were yeah. you raised by a fucking pack of crocodiles in New Orleans? Like, <laughs> where the fuck did you come up with this? <laughs> Yeah, he's but even just hanging around with him, like off stage, he's just a weird dude. Oh, bro, he pulled up. So <laughs> funny. He pulled up the studio yesterday, and he just got a new car. I don't, I won't say the car. Nice car, we'd like it. And uh, he, I go, dude, you're killing it, man. That's your car. He goes, yeah. And he goes, some homosexual bumped into the back of me there. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he a homosexual? He's like, because he was. I'm like, all right, man. It just happened. To yeah, be. yeah. He's like, just happened to be. <laughs> he's just so hilarious, man. Yeah, there's a lot of good guys right now. I was it's talking about uh, watching that Gary Shandling stuff and doing all the stuff. That's Judd's documentary, That's right? Judd Apatow's documentary. It's brilliant on his process and stuff like that. I got emotional on that as well. I don't know if you guys know this. Obviously, I'm a complete bitch. Uh, but Gary Shandling <laughs> talks about how his goal through going through everything was to get on The Tonight Show. And then he does it, and he walks backstage, and he kills it, right? But that was his goal. And he starts crying. He falls into Bob Saget's arm, starts crying, right? Because that was his goal. But he's talking about the comedy store, and like he's talking about all the big names there. And I was thinking, God, that must have been cool to be involved in that back then, around all those big names. Yeah. I was talking to Brian. Brian goes, man, right now the comedy store, he, some would argue it's better. And when you think about it, I'm like, God, it is. When you think about all the fucking just legends, man. You, Burr, you got Marion, got Delia. I mean, just oh, it keeps the list goes on and on and on. I'm like, oh, my God, it's bad. Man. It's a crazy time. I mean, it's it's certainly the best time at the store in terms of like the amount of time that I've been there. And I started going there in '94. It's a long time. It's a long ass time. So in 24 years that I've been going there, it's better now than ever before. But when you think about it, I mean, obviously there's the cellar in New York. <laughs> but as far as like, on a get, you go there on a Tuesday night, go there yeah. on Wednesday night. I mean, it's freaking yeah. They're very similar. Row. They're very similar in a way. Um, but. And they're also very similar in that they become big tourist traps, too. Like, comedy store people take vacations for comedy. They do comedy vacations, and they yeah. fly from Australia. Getting a lot of people from Australia. Yeah, but because you know if you show up, uh, you're going to see Bill Burr, Rogan, Mark yeah. Maron, and Delia in the same night. Almost every week, one of us is there. Someone's oh, there. At least. Unless yeah. someone's on tour, someone's yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of times you are on tour. Um, but, shit, on any given Tuesday... Dave Chappelle might stop it. Correct. And then Chris Rock. Chris Rock. And, you know, maybe Louis will make his comeback there. I hope he does. <laughs> I'm so a Louis fan. I don't like people like whatever. Um, come on. Come on. Come on. You like people watching you beat off. I mean. There's worse shit. Come on. <clears throat> yeah. Just need someone to come up. Someone has to do something much ho more horrible. You know, Callan's shooting his special, I think, in July now. He is? For who? Uh, some so I forget who's who's shooting it, but definitely not his buddy who works for ESPN this time. So they're doing it right. They're, mm. He's doing it right this time, but yeah. I, th they're gonna go out there and try and sell it. But he's ready to go. I just hope it works out for Callan as far as Netflix or Showtime or somewhere. You got to land somewhere. You know. So is he gonna sell it and then bring it somewhere? Is that the move? I think so. I don't mm. want to misquote Brian, but I'm I'm almost positive. But he has someone who I think he shot Segura's and a bunch of other guys' stuff. Like it's, it's someone who knows what the hell they're doing. Where's he gonna do it? Uh, I think Chicago. Ooh, Chicago's in, in July. Spot. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good spot. <clears throat> I'm there for the UFC in June. I'm doing the Chicago Theater, June seventh uh, or some shit. I love Chicago. Ooh, what good. theater? Last time I was there, I did Chicago Vic. Theater. Chicago, yeah, yeah. Animal, yeah. It's great. It's beautiful, beautiful old place too. Yeah, Chicago's awesome, man. Doesn't get enough love. It's a weird place, right? Does it not get enough love? I feel like everyone fucking loves Chicago. They're pizza. People won't shut up about it. It's not it. really pizza. It's casserole. It's a casserole. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. It's like, Correct. stop calling that a pizza. That's no, not a pizza. If you it's a large, yeah. thick square, that would be a casserole right. where I come from. Have you ever a hamburger 
and you roll it up in a tortilla. Is that still a hamburger? No. no that's, that's a tortilla. A, it's a wrap. A, that's a burrito, it's bitches. That's uh, in and out protein style, then, when it's oh, in lettuce. Oh, that's lettuce. That's a, we that's call that a out. lettuce taco. <clears throat> that's a wrap, though. That's in a the, lettuce wrap. Uh, Chinese food place. Correct. Mm. Lettuce wrap. Chicken yeah, wrap. Chicken it's not wrap. wrapped. See, the difference yeah. is the way you make it. It's rolled up. Look, you can take a piece of pizza <laughs> and flatten it out and fold it over, over and over again, and then it'll become folded pizza. But if it starts out folded... What are you selling me? It's a calzone. You sell, yeah, you selling me a goddamn calzone. <laughs> and I love a calzone. <clears throat> I'm a fan. I'm a fan of calzone. Have you well. had a good thick piece of pizza from uh, basically casserole from Chicago though? Yeah. Oh yeah. Best you've ever had though. It's very good. The best you've yeah. ever had. Where did, where's the place we go to? What is it called? Giordano's. That one. Might have been. You know who makes a nice square piece is Kings in New York. Or have you ever heard of? Uh, ah fuck! I'm getting the, the artichoke pizza in New York. Artichoke pizza. It's called artichoke pizza. Do you have to have ripped pants to get in there? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. People kept telling me to go there. When I was in New York working for Showtime, I, I tried one slice. You know, Postmates. Postmates is what makes me fat now because I was Postmates. Postmates. Oh, is that the you get food? They delivered just pick to your it house? up and drops it off to your hotel room. Uh, so I get done after a long day of PR. I'm like, ah, pizza would be great. So I get two slices. I'm like, next night I'm like, fuck, that was delicious. <sighs> I see, you know, I've got a fucking love handles and a triple it is, chin. Isn't it weird how, like, when you're tired, you want carbs? You want sugar and carbs. I wonder why. I think it's like my willpower's weak. When yeah, I'm tired, like, I want, like, I never fuck with Egg McMuffins or McGriddles. My mouth's watering. But if I'm at the airport and I'm on a fucking 7 a.m. flight. You and I ate one yeah. together. <laughs> you and I ate one together. I never eat that shit. You and I ate it together. It was so good for the brief moment it was in my mouth. Dude, you know what I was thinking? I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck, I'd love a McGriddle, but I don't want to be judged right now. I'm going to wait to see if he goes to that fucking weird, bright place on the breakfast spot on the right, or is he going to go to McDonald's? When he started leaning over there, I went, and I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be mad at Egg McMuffin. And you just looked at me and went, "Yeah, fuck this. Let's do this." Yes, <laughs> yes. That's why I ate before I saw you guys. I thought you would skip it. Oh, I had to get that's mine in. funny. Yeah, you don't, you don't be the guy who pulls the trigger. You don't be judged, man. Yeah, most of the time I'm gonna not pull the trigger, but see, I feel like that's part of the thing. It's like pulling that trigger every now and then for the fuck of it. Have some fun. Get chicken and waffles. Oh, Go man. to Roscoe's. Yeah. Go to Roscoe's and slather that. The fuck with maple syrup and butter. You just can't Woo! do it every day. Can't do it every day, but you can do it one day a week. Like I agree. The Rock, his his Instagram, like those the pictures of him eating stacks of his cheat meal, stacks of pancakes. Definitely a photo shoot. Yeah, yeah I hear you. You ain't I eating know, all right? that, a son. Bit, uh, that, you think so? No, that's definitely so. But he's a giant. You don't think he eats all that shit? Yeah, he's not a giant. I mean, he, he he's uh, he's on different supplements than I am. We're about very similar size. Different supplements. Different supplements, different sir. Supplements. 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 Yes. Do you think they come from south of the border? Uh, I'm saying? sure he's eating the same yeah! tacos. He's yeah! eating the same tacos. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. I Do you see he came out and said he has depression? Yeah. I think he's it's a football thing, man. I think um and then also pro wrestling, all that slamming, all that getting slammed around. This is my take on this. I think I mean you, you I'm sure you dealt with depression, right? You you have bummer days. Jamie, you have bummer days, sure. right? Shit happens. I think there's a difference between having a depression period in your life or events in your life and then you know you're normally a happy dude and then there's people with severe depression yeah, who have to be medicated there's a scale yeah and he's yeah. not on that scale no. no he's not on that scale it makes news because he goes hey i've been sad too before and we're like yes rocket sad too right different sad we're not well, talking ari shafir depressed here you no, know what i'm saying right he was talking about his mom was ari shafir depressed though much more so his mom yes. walked into traffic and i'm and i'm not throwing shade at ari like, we've talked about ari having depression yeah. before and he takes medication that's why i said that well he doesn't anymore He's off medication. Yeah, yeah. his and he's life hilarious. got better. And and he's hilarious. Magically became. Oh, weird. Yeah, he's a phenomenal yeah. comic and successful, and he's not depressed no, he's not anymore. Depressed anymore. Weird. Also, he got off Propecia. Callan calls bullshit on it. Callan's taking Propecia like they're Skittles, and he's the happiest man I know. Yeah, but it's not necessarily uh, like universal. Like some. <laughs>